Mr. McGee and the Elephants by Pamela Allen Underneath this apple tree lives a man called Mr. McGee. One sunny day he thought he'd try to pick the apples from up high. He stood on the table, then the chair. Up he went, he was almost there when he heard a rumbling sound and felt a shaking of the ground. Down came the table, down came the chair. Poor Mr. McGee was hanging up there until... Three elephants thundering by stopped. Had they heard a plaintive cry? Listen. They looked up then and they could see someone stuck. Who was it? It was Mr. McGee. They lowered him gently to the ground. When no broken bones could be found, all he had was an aching head, Mr. McGee sat down and said, Thank you, elephants, for rescuing me. Would you like a cup of tea? And maybe even a slice of bread with a little butter and Vegemite spread. But while he was preparing tea, a greedy elephant was up in the tree. What is it doing? Can you see? Mr McGee yelled, get down from there! But it pretended it didn't hear. Mr McGee turned very pale. He strode across and pulled its tail. The greedy elephant whipped around, grabbed Mr. McGee up off the ground and threw him away. The elephant then went back to the tree and so, of course, it didn't see what had happened to Mr. McGee. But the other elephants had heard him crash. And when they looked, they saw the splash. So they weren't surprised when he came back, covered in mud and completely black. But the greedy one got an awful fright. It was sure that it was going to bite. Whatever it was, was an awful sight. So it ran and ran till it couldn't see the scary thing that was Mr. McGee. Poor Mr. McGee was black and smelly. The slimy mud was thick as jelly. And so with one almighty squirt, the other two got rid of the dirt. Now Mr. McGee was very clean. You'd never guess where he had been. Thank you, elephants, said Mr. McGee. Please sit down, enjoy your tea. After they sat and drank their tea and eaten the bread with Vegemite spread, Mr. McGee wished them both good night. And watched until they were out of sight. With that he <sighs> yawned and said, It's time that I was off to bed. <laughs>